We press on. Um, have we made it? Nope. We made it. We made it to a new route. Uh, let me look at my TMs. Actually, that's what I wanted to do. My good old TM case. Pardonnez moi, mademoiselle. Um, so they're gonna learn fly. Um, maybe <laughs> I doubt aerial ace is, is teachable. Nope. Sand slash. And wait, who else? Oh, Beedrill. Oh, that's that's kind of cool, actually. Maybe we teach that to Beedrill at some point. Uh, yeah, we don't really have any, like, hype Dragonair moves. Hello? Oh, there you go. I found Carbos in a cave once while I was spelunking! Okay. Cool. Picnicker Alma? Alma! Alma... Um... I don't know. Alma D's nuts. <laughs> Almond butter. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, let's try to land. Let's just do Twister. Fuck it. I mean, come on. Dragonair's moveset's pretty weak right now. If we could, uh. I'm trying to think of a good, like, move uh, that Dragonair could learn. I mean, there are, there are definitely good ones now. I'm just trying to think of, like, a. Like, uh, like, in current gens and stuff? But I don't know, like, all the ones that are- Oh god. Um, in this game, and I don't know- Whoa, Satan! Uh, we got 666 uh, experience points, if you didn't notice that. Um, I'm just trying to think of, like, strong moves that, that would be good to teach. All I could think of is, like, Dragon Claw, but I don't think- Dragonair can learn that. It doesn't have any fucking hands, so <laughs> that kind of becomes an issue. Let's try to land a slam. Come on. There you go. There you go. That's what we like to see. Maybe Dragonair is going to take a little bit more of a, like, support approach, you know? Like, he learns agility, right? So that's something. Um, he also learns safeguard? That's a good move, I think. I think it raises, like, special defense for the whole team. So that's pretty damn useful. Uh, let's hit him with... Try to land another slam. Nope, of course not. It feels like 50-50. I know it's like 75% hit rate, but it feels like 50-50. And that just lowered. So let's hit him with a twister. Twister, sister. Dude, horsey's evolutions are great. Honestly, I love the water Pokemon in this game. There's a lot of great Pokemon I forget about that are in this game, you know? Uh, it feels like Blastoise is probably the lamest water Pokemon in this game, other than like Tentacool, but anyway. What do we got here? My bird Pokemon want to battle with you. Oh, maybe there's like a rock move we could teach. Uh... Oh, I can look at TMs right here. We could have taught Focus Punch. Oh no, that's Dragon Knight. I gotta go to Dragon Air. Sorry, Sebastian. Sebastian from fucking. Uh, what's it called? Fucking. What's that game called? <laughs> Stardew Valley? Okay. Uh, TM. Water Pulse we could have taught. Uh, but we don't have that anymore, obviously. Thunder and Thunderbolt, but you know those are both going to Pikachu or Raichu. Um. Ice Beam? Ice Beam would be really fucking useful, actually. Really fucking useful. And Blizzard. Um, but Ice Beam, I think, would be better. It's better accuracy, and it has more PP, I think. Um, Iron Tail. That's a good move, too. Fire Blast? And, oh, oh, what the fuck? Dude, is everything okay? Sorry, I shifted monitors for my recording. I, I think that probably, like, messed up the recording a little bit. But we're okay. It, it's happened before. Um, so, um, I actually think we should teach Dragonair fire moves because we're not going to be getting uh, a fire Pokemon because we, we're not going to have Arcanine. And uh, I think we should have some fire moves. And since it's a dragon, it's pretty fitting, you know? In, in terms of theme. So I think we will we'll keep, uh, we'll, we'll teach it like flamethrower or whatever. Okay, you just fucked yourself, Pidgeotto. Um, yeah, we'll teach it like flamethrower. 
So that'll be good. Uh, once we get that. I'm sure we get that from, like, Jim, uh, 7. Uh, the fire guy, which I- Dude, I can't even- I literally haven't even seen footage of that- Of, of anything past, uh, Fuchsia City. So, I'm so excited to- to get to wherever we're going, you know? <sighs> I told- Wait. Did it, she say I told you I'm good for a kid? I'm so confused. Is this a picnicker that we fought before or something? That would be cool. Um, anyway. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just teach uh, Dragonair, like, Flamethrower later, and then we'll get Outrage, which is, like, the go-to. Ah, oh, Dragon Breath, if it's an egg... If you if you hatch a Dragonair as an egg, it gets Dragon Breath? Interesting. Um, wait a second, hold on, hold on. Is Dragon Breath the one that has a specific amount of damage it does? Am I crazy? No, okay. Dragon Rage is the right one I was thinking of. Uh, Vicious Twister attacks the foe. I mean, Twister's such a lame dragon move, you know? I mean, goddamn. Uh, anyway, let's hit him with a Twister. <laughs> Yeah, so we'll focus on just the regular dragon moves that he learns, and then we'll add flamethrower to that. Okay, enough talking about, uh, Dragonair, Dossie. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, send- no, keep Dragonair out, what the fuck? We got five Pokemon here, Jesus Christ. We'll just Twister this shit up, dude. Twister Sister. What is Twister Sister? I, I feel like that's a thing. Let's all look it up. Uh, hey Siri, what is Twister Sister? Okay, I found something on the web for what is Twister Sister. Oh, Twisted Sister is what I'm thinking of. And it's a heavy metal band. Okay, well, cool. Uh, they are from New Jersey. And, oh wait, what the fuck, is that Mike Portnoy? What the fuck? Huh. Okay, he wasn't an original member. Of course not. Mike Portnoy, sorry. Uh, Mike Portnoy was a drummer for Dream Theater, so I know him pretty well, and he's very easy to tell. Uh, like, he's, he's very easy to recognize because, uh, well, at least in that picture, he had a blue beard, and I remember when he had a blue beard. Anyway. <sighs> He's a drummer for Dream Theater, and then he left Dream Theater to become the drummer for Avenged Sevenfold, and then he left the Avenged Sevenfold, and he's just been a drummer for, like, so many different bands, so I'm not really surprised that he's also been a drummer for Twisted Sister. Um, but anyway. Speaking of which, Dream Theater put out a new album, and I haven't listened to all of it yet, because, you know, probably since, like, 2017, I've just been on a full, like, hip-hop kick. Like, I have not been able to listen to anything else, so I don't know why, it's just like, it just feels better, you know? Like, I had a huge appreciation for metal growing up. <sighs> don't get me wrong, I still do, I still love metal to death. Um, I don't know, not maybe not to death, but, um, oh shit, I feel like... North to Silence Bridge? What the fuck? Um, but anyway, it, you know, the appreciation you get for metal is like, uh, wait, oh, don't these show you where all the things are? Like, where's, uh, I don't know, anyway, um, the appreciation for metal is like, is, is for me, is very much like, uh, I mean, you have like, heavy riffs and shit, like Metallica type shit and Megadeth, but then you also have like talent types, like like pure raw skill, uh, which is another thing that, uh, I don't know, like that's, uh, that's what appealed to me about Dream Theater, um, I don't, I don't know, anyway, I, those things don't appeal to me as much right now, you know, I'm just into like the feel of music now. And, and feel 
is very uh <sighs> expressed in in like hip hop and 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 R and B and stuff like that too. So, so yeah. But there's also like you know very like feel metal. I don't know. Like I don't know. Anyway. I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I all of a sudden got very tired of, of talking about metal. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's because I probably talk about it too much with my dad as it is. Um, so I, I try not to like think about metal, I guess. I don't know. I mean, I, lo I used to love metal. I just don't like it as much anymore. Simple as that. Simple as that. I still have like, all my you know Metallica and Megadeth and... and Dream Theater and uh, Dio and Iron Maiden on I on my iTunes account, but anyway, agility. Do we keep agility? I was saying that I I feel like I was acting like we should keep agility, but well, it'd probably be better to keep than Thunder Wave. I mean, I never use Thunder Wave, so sure, right? We'll keep agility for now. We'll replace it with something cooler later on. It's fine. It's totally fine. Beauty Lola. Oh, you little beast. Whoa, Lola. You trying to you trying to smash right now? You trying to fucking smash right now? Are we trying to do a three-way with you and your equally attractive friend up there? Is that what's happening? Did we level up? I feel like we leveled up. Uh, we did. I don't even know when that happened, but it happened, so... I feel like that happened a while ago for some reason. So, maybe it did, maybe it didn't. Who the fuck knows? Alright, Beedrill, your time to shine against the other beauty. Do you want to battle some Pokemon with me? Of course, it's not the only thing I want to do with you. Oh, beauty Shayla! Oh my god, it's Beauty Shayla. And her Clefairy. We have the cutest Pokemon out there, you know what I'm saying, dad? Dude, I think we're gonna do the next gym in this recording session. Guaranteed next gym in this recording session. Don't fucking at me. Cause dude, we gotta we gotta pick up the pace on this on this playthrough if we're gonna get through every Pokemon game by late 2019, you know? So yeah, hit him with the pin missile. Hit her with the pin missile. Hell yeah, dad. Hell yeah, dad. Um, I don't know. For some reason, I was thinking like about how our team has kind of evolved, and pretty much we've got just a bunch of badasses. Other than like Raichu, who's kind of like cute, but Raichu's also a badass, you know. So we've got this team of like all badasses, and I'm thinking to myself, huh. What if, like, next game we did, like, all cute Pokemon? <laughs> but then I was thinking, well, fuck that shit. I will always choose the Pokemon I like the most, and the Pokemon I like the most are always fucking badass, so... Oh well. Like, dude, how can you not play, uh, Gen 2 and have a Tyranitar? Like, the most legend of Pokemon. Absolute... Uh, legend. Epic. Epic Pokemon. Tyranitar. Tyranitar is the epic Pokemon. Oh, I gotta look at my badges. <gasps> that reminds me of fucking Diamond and Pearl, where you could clean your badges. They would get dirty after a while. I love that feature. I love that feature so much. I don't know, it didn't really add much, but actually, I think it, I don't know, it made it, it, it was a little feature that I just thought was, was kind of cool, you know? It's not crazy, but, you know, it's cool. <laughs> Dude, this is a level 30 polywag that we just two-shot. I mean, come on. These trainers are kind of strong. The kind of strong. The pump. I'm coming day and night. You guys should look up that video. Look up Arnold Schwarzenegger, the pump. You ever get, like, nervous when you say his name because you're worried you're going to say the N-word? <laughs> uh... Don't worry, I got nervous after I said it, so I feel like if I got nervous beforehand, I would have actually said the N-word on accident. I don't think I've ever said it on accident, or really on purpose. Sorry, I should have said that first. I've never said it on purpose. Um, I've been called the N-word, which was a very weird experience. It, and it wasn't, uh, and I, I don't, I don't mean 
like called the n-word as like a friend like yo my homie <laughs> god damn it i'm the whitest motherfucker um but you know i wasn't like called it like in a friendly way i was called it as like in a very aggressive way by another white dude like it was just stupid anyway we're gonna pop an iron for uh sand slash dude you know all of our hp boosts are gonna go to snorlax oh my god um okay what was i what was i actually doing though did we level up is that what i was doing no wait let me check again i thought maybe we needed healing or something i guess i don't know uh, this route is kind of wonky, dude. My cute Pokemon wish to make your acquaintance and... Acquaintance? Acquaintance? Why the fuck did I add an extra syllable there, Picnic or Gwen? Tell me. You guys ever think about Dragon Ball GT? How, like... Like, you know, last uh, recording sesh, I was probably... I, I would say I was leaning towards preferring Dragon Ball GT over Dragon Ball Super. But now, this week, I'm totally the opposite. Like, Dragon Ball Super is pretty great. I'm happy about it. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy about Dragon Ball Super. And god damn it, stop splitting my XP, you motherfuckers. And you keep making Blastoise up next. It's like, you're just, like, killing yourself by using Whirlwind. Like, what, what, you think you're gonna use fucking Whirlwind and a level 2 Weedle's gonna come out? And you're gonna be like, oh, thank god. No, and plus, you beat that level 2 Weedle, and then you're still gonna have to fight Beedrill. Because he's just going to come out next, you know? Fuck. <sighs> it just sucks, like... Ugh. I have a lot of nostalgia for Dragon Ball GT, and I have, like, two statues of Super Saiyan 4 Goku. And now I just wish that there were two statues of Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. <laughs> Good old Super Saiyan Blue. Super Saiyan Blue. Or Ultra Instinct Goku. I think that's probably the coolest, like, form to come out of Super. But I haven't seen a lot of Ultra Instinct Go uh, Goku because I haven't watched the anime and the manga in terms of the volumes. Haven't caught up to that part yet, so... I'm not there yet. I'm not there. But I'll get there. Just like Beedrill will eventually kill all these flying Pokemon. I mean, my god. My god. That's a little super effective boy. Big Oofy. Big Ouchie. Probably could have done uh, with a poison sting. But, oh well. You live and you learn. Uh, what's that Hannah Montana song? Get the bet. No, that's a different one. Uh, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know. I don't know. Dude, should we be fighting a level 27 Pidgeotto with our level 37 Beedrill? I don't know, but we're doing it. You live and you learn it. Sorry, I know listening to Pokemon music and listening to Dossie do Hannah Montana music isn't the best thing to experience. Okay. Of all the Pokemon. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. See, this is... Wait, I could do- I could do Snore! Right? This works? Correct? Wait, but can't I snore while I'm asleep? Oh, yeah, great. Ugh. God, what a great move. Like, it just eliminates sleep as a problem, you know? It's like, why not just always be asleep? Like, basically, the strat for Snorlax, right now at least, with our moves, and I feel like his moves aren't gonna change much. Headbutt until he's low on health. Then, you hit him with the rest. And then, you hit him with the, the snore. Until he wakes up, and then you just repeat. It's just, it's just perfect. It's, it's, it's a, there are no faults in that, uh, in that plan. So, yeah. God, this route is so wonky. Um, this guy got a Oh, I just blocked my- Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I always go with bird Pokemon. I've dedicated myself to them. God damn it. Why does Beedrill have to be number one right now? Why can't it be, like, fucking Raichu or some shit? Uh, 
at least it's just like level 26 Pidgeys, and Beedrill's kinda close to level 38. We'll do Twin Needle. I mean, Poison Sting doesn't do enough damage to justify it, honestly. We need to get like Acid or something for Beedrill, you know? That would make him. Oh my god! Snorlax! Okay, no. That would have been. Very annoying. Uh, okay, well, you haven't really given yourself a better situation here? Um, so there's that. I'm talking to the Bird Keeper boy because, you know, Dragonair is not much better than Beedrill, but he's, you know, he's not, definitely not worse. Oh, uh, I'm tired, guys. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna end this sesh after we, uh, after we beat the next gym. Um, I'm not really tired. I, I feel like, you know, uh, I get mentally exhausted. <laughs> when I record. Does that make sense? Uh, I think that definitely makes sense, so I, uh, I will support that previous statement. Oh, see, that's why I keep Poison Sting, okay? But we need Acid, though, because it's better. Or Sludge Bomb, you know? Fo Pidgeotto is hurt by Poison. Uh, now we'll hit him with the Pin Missile, hope for the Fiver. Okay, uh, or the Zeroer, you know, like, what the fuck? How many gusts me? I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm kinda hungry. Guys, I gotta go fucking get some Burger King. Fuck. It sucks though. I have to walk to Burger King, right? And, oh my god, Beedrill, what the fuck? Um, the thing is, I'm never sure if I should. Because I love eating and watching, like, YouTube or something, right? That's like the ultimate, like, my favorite thing in life. You know what I mean? So. And, like, maybe playing a video game or whatever. Just being at my desk eating is the best combination. But, I have to walk to, to Burger King to get my food. So, that doesn't really work. I mean, I, I can I can walk back. It's not that far. And I've done it before where I've just walked there, bought in the food, walked back and ate at home. It's not that big of a deal. And that's, you know what, that's just what I'm going to do. So, I don't know why I'm even talking about it. But, now you know how I feel about Burger King and walking there. It used to be Subway, guys. It used to be slightly healthier, and it used to be Subway, but Subway closed, and now it's gonna be a Dunkin' Donuts. It's kind of sad, honestly. I miss my Subway. Uh, I mean, I, I I don't miss feeling bad for the people who work there, because as someone who used to work at Subway, I know how shit of a job that is, and that Subway wasn't a great Subway. It was probably better than the one I worked at, but... I mean, I can't even imagine a subway worse than the one I worked at. I mean, probably like a subway in, in New York or something, but I feel like a subway that's that's in New York, that's like super busy and stuff, has the employees to, to back it up, you know? Because it, it's a subway in New York City, you know? And I'm not talking about the underground trains. I'm talking about subway sandwiches. So, you know, I, they're probably very well prepared for uh for a lot of customers right so yeah anyway i used to work at a subway in uh town or I, I should say a city in in florida called bradenton which is a very shitty city um you know a lot of the people there uh are, are have, have been dicked and uh you know uh, they go through a lot of shit there um it's just a very impoverished uh, area or whatever, and I and I worked at a subway in an area uh, that was pretty. I mean, I worked in in a, probably one of the better areas in Bradenton, but like, you know, it was Bradenton, so there, you know. Anyway, so the point being, it was a uh, it was a pretty shitty place to work at because we were understaffed and it was a very busy subway. It was just it was just a lot of a lot of big ouchy, you know, <laughs> big ouchy. Uh, is this gonna be a... nope. I was thinking a secret item, but nope. The game dicks me. Why oh, they gotta make all these fences and shit? Who's... who fucking planned this route? I'm not going to lose, not when the wind's blowing my way. Guys, I can't wait till we're playing Sword and Shield, and we have, like, all of our fucking Pokemon. It's gonna be so awesome. It's gonna be so great, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, man. I'm so happy, and you know, if I, I think that if, if worst case scenario, if I don't buy a DS with uh, a capture card, I'm gonna play through all the Pokemon games anyway on my own, um, 
and that would kind of suck for the channel, and I'm sure that a lot of people would love to see that. And that's why I'm, you know, I'm still going to try my best to try to do that, but I'm saying, worst case scenario, I will do it just on my own. Um, but either way, I'm so excited to do that, and if I do do that on my own, then I'll, I'll still record Sword and Shield, and at the very least I am going to record Emerald, so you can definitely 100% look forward to that. Um, although, you know, I should be promising that you'll be able to look forward to everything, um, all the games, because that's what I want to do, uh, but, you know, we'll just have to see, you know, it's, if it's within my budget and everything, I'm, I'm trying to save for a car, at the same time, I don't give a fuck about buying a car, I'd much rather buy a, uh, <laughs> DS with a capture card in it, it's not like, you know, they're even close to each other in price, but, you know, it would still set me back a bit. And I know that, like, as soon as I tell, like, my mom or what, I mean, I shouldn't, I care too much about how people, like, think about me or whatever, but if I tell my mom, like, that I bought a DS with a capture card and that's why I haven't bought a car yet, you know, she'd be, like, pissed off. But for me, you know, it's important, an important piece of equipment about, for something that I'm very passionate about, so I'm willing to make that investment, you know? So, anyway... Any hootle. There was this website that I thought was going to be really good called Katsukitty. Um, and I guess recently some shit came up and, and people have been getting dicked uh, by that website, so... I guess I'm not going to do that website. I mean, I'll look into it. I'll look into the website again and see if it was just like a one-time situation. But I don't know kind of risky. There, again, I found this guy who's, who seemed like very reliable, uh, who's based in Germany. So, yeah. I mean, he, he's a partner who works in the US, but the guy who works in the US, all of his stuff is out of stock right now, I think. So that fucking sucks. Um, but anyway. Blastoise is so great, man. He's so strong and he levels up like pretty quick. That's why he's our, our highest level guy, you know? That's why we keep him at the front line. Because uh, he can level up quick, and he's a strong boy. We'll hit him with another bite. We're running out of PP pee though. My god, I guess I could have done rapid spin there. We gotta get a new move for Blastoise. I guess I'll check that again. <laughs> I feel like I checked that too recently. Uh, Blastoise. Oh, I don't want to change Pokemon. Um... Um, moves learned! Gen 3! He learns... Yeah, his next move is actually Rain Dance. Um, which I guess I'll probably actually get to replace Rapid Spin. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. What we need is Surf. What am I talking about? That's what we need. Which, again, I believe we get in the Safari Zone. Uh, let me double check. Uh, HM's Leaf Green. I like Cerebi. Cerebi's a great website for this kind of thing. Um, yeah, Safari Zone. Wow, you get Surf and Strength in the Safari Zone. Uh, different places in the Safari Zone, though. Anyway. Uh, oh god. The sound like went weird for a second there. Did you hear that? Or was that my fucking ears like failing on me? Sometimes I'm worried I'm gonna go deaf. Anyway. You get fly at Route 16? Where's Route 16? Huh. I don't know. I guess I'll have to check the map. Hey, Blaster's leveled up. So that's great. We'll hit him with a uh I don't think we'll need to heal him again, but we'll hit him with an antidote. So I think we're going to make it to the town before he loops back around to uh, front of the party, you know? Don't you know? So Raichu is up front. Blastoise, you can go all the way to the bottom. And uh, yeah, Snorlax is still just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Did I fight this guy? Where? Oh god, I don't even know where I went or where am I? What? What is- Oh, this way! There's like an item over here, isn't there? At least some grass? Like, what? That doesn't seem very... Very useful. Uh... Gotta be a secret, like, hidden item, right? 
Level 27 Pidger. That's a strong boy. Our Pokemon are getting pretty tough. Um, I think we're ready for the gym now, but it's still, I just wish we were, like, a higher level. And like I said, I'll be playing off, off, uh, off screen, uh, so to speak, to, uh, to train my boys. Really? No item? No item! This is just a patch of grass. Like, what the fuck? Oh, that's a Pidgeotto. Level 29? It's probably a really good patch of grass to train in. Holy shit. So, if I wanted to train... Or when I do train, actually, this will be a good place to do it. So that's great. Ooh, man, I'm hungry, guys. I'm hungry. We better hurry up and get to this fucking town. You know what I'm saying, dude? Guys, now I'm talking about. Gosh dang! I don't know what that voice is, guys. It's kind of annoying, honestly. Dawson should shut the fuck up and play the game. God damn! I mean, I'm doing both. I mean, <laughs> shutting the fuck up and playing the game. No, I'm, uh, I'm playing the game and talking and being successful at it, and that is what we call gameplay commentary, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Do we fight this guy? Yeah, we just fought him.